that double job through high praise. I returned to Nigeria in September 2015 after completing my master's degree at the University of Cape Town, South Africa, to reunite with my wife and children. Why back, I needed a miracle job, believing it is never late for the release of that portion of my prophetic package for the year. I engaged wholeheartedly in the Operation Rescue prophetic agenda with my wife and follow up our new converts to the point of baptism. We keyed to Mrs. Oluwa Busolami, AA's Wonder Triple Job Testimonies reviewed at our WSF meeting. On Wednesday at the midweek service, my father, the bishop, instructed us to engage in personal praise sessions when we get home that night for the fulfillment of prophecy. Despite tiredness, after that service, praise session, we praised God widely at home, and our heavens broke open the next day. We got a job offer from a multinational company with a mega seven-digit salary at a choice location. Same day, another company called for another job offer, and I started feeling important. Indeed, prophetic instructions work like magic. I give God all the glory. Serving God pays. Olale ye Oluwa Sumkomi is the testifier. Gosling Emmanuel, please come forward and share your testimony. Your name and what the Lord has done for the person. From glory to glory. My name is Godson Emmanuel. I'm here today to testify to the goodness of God over my life and that of my family. Especially last year. I got married last year anyway. April 18th. And against all doctors' reports, my wife was actually having a fibroid which was weighing 6.8. And I was advised not to get her pregnant because if I do that, it's going to be risking her life and that of the baby. But before we know it, she took in. Then we kept on coming to this place. I was administering the Holy Communion on her on each occasion. And every time we go to the hospital, the doctor will say, still say the same thing. And I keep repeating myself that I cannot believe their reports. What I believe is the report of the Lord. To the glory of God, May this year she gave birth, baby favor, Emmanuel Onye de Kachuku, against all doctors' reports. The fibroid, the fibroid was brought out, and the baby is here. She's here with me. If she can come. Shout hallelujah. For this testimony, let's give Jesus a big shout of glory. Let's listen to this documented testimony and be blessed. On Friday, HIV destroyed via praise. On Friday, August 29, 2014, my fiancé arrived in Lagos for a medical test prior to our wedding. When we got the result, he stated that she was HIV positive. Immediately, I told the doctor that it was not possible because she was bo she's born again and still a virgin. Later, we visited another hospital, but the result was the same. That Saturday, we came to Canaan Land and met the resident pastor. He prayed, instructed us to write the result we wanted and give God thanks for it. Thereafter, at midnight, we danced around the Fair Tabernacle until 3 a.m. During the service, the following day, a couple shared a testimony of how they waited on God for the, for the fruit of the womb for 21 years until they made it a project. So we decided to do the same. That night, at 11 p.m., we praised God again. In the midst of that praise, my fiancé fell and shouted, Jesus! When I asked what happened, she said someone came into the room and removed a long black pin from her tie. If you are calculating for Jesus, let's be louder. <laughs> next day, the next day, we went to the hospital for another test. Lo and behold, the result was negative. Again, we went to the hospital that had diagnosed our positive earlier, that diagnosed our positive earlier, and to the glory of God, she tested HIV negative again. Praise the Lord. 
the testifier is Samuel Hope. Please come, come over and give your testimony. Your name and what the Lord has done in one minute. Praise the Lord. My name is Mr. Chijo Kechukunyere. I was invited to this commission uh, by my in-law, and we started worshiping here for the first time on the night of this last month. That's uh, the second Saturday of October. So this my child here is my last child. Um, he is three years plus. For the first time, when we came here, he took communion. Because when he went to wee wee, he would be, you know, running around and the wee wee would just, you know, be, you know, pouring on his body. But after taking the communion, the following day, he just wee weed, you know, he urinated straight. Then, within the week, around Wednesday, also for the first time, he just shouted, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for all he has done. In Jesus' mighty name. Fifteen years stagnation and via praise. I'm a consultant. Previously, I experienced stagnation in my business for many years. However, I became a committed titer and paid my Shiloh vow in February 2015. Also, during one of the services, the bishop said that the more we are addicted to praise, the more our access to fresh oil. So, I keyed into praise warfare and started praising God with my traditional wedding attire every day for two hours. Suddenly, I started getting business contracts from clients who had not called me for many years. Also, three years ago, God blessed me with a Land Cruiser Jeep that I never struggled for. I give God all the glory. The testifier is Tunde Adegoke. Please come forward to share your testimony. Put your hand together for Jesus as they come. Praise the Lord. Your name and what the Lord have done. Praise the Lord. I'm Sister Aku Mary. I'm here to share the testimony on behalf of, yes, Sister Fumilola Kende Ogumolode. Praise the Lord. God still works wonders after 35 years of waiting. My name is Miss. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Fumilola Kende Ogumolode. I am 57 years old. I and my husband have been searching for the fruits of the womb for 35 years. This search has led us to different hospitals. I have undergone different operations, even carried out sacrifices as a result of visiting herbalists. We had spent so much on these issues that we even pleaded, I pleaded with my husband to take second wife, but he won't listen. In 2012, we were invited to winners by my sister here, and I have been attending all Shilohs programs since then. We opened up our house for self-fellowship, any time for personal supplication, I only intercede for pregnant married apprentices that worked with me. Others' children I have trained for their safe delivery. In October 2015, my husband got a call from his elder brother when we got back from church on Sunday. On his way back from that visit, he was knocked down by a vehicle and was rushed to the hospital. He was later transferred to another hospital. There he died on Monday. The next day, I thought all was as ended with me. After the stipulated 41 days of mourning, I ended as ended. I went to the hospital as I was feeling sick and noticed certain changes in my body. The doctor confirmed I was pregnant. The God of winners, our father, Bishop David Oyeleko, the God of Bishop, our father, Bishop Oyeleko, has wiped away my tears and given me a reason to smile. Church, today, 
This child was given birth to August 29, 2016. I have come to give the glory to God. His name is Ayomide Aduragbemi Gideon. Testimony. Ogu Molode. With God be all the glory. For these 35 years and 15 years, testimonies give Jesus a big clap. <laughs>